Good morning. Today I thought I would uh, do a little test. I was actually testing with uh, BeLive mobile software and that didn't quite work. So I was all set up uh, to do a, uh, a pop-up show. So I thought I'd uh, just uh, do it the old fashioned way that I was doing it. So one of the things that I've found over the course of doing Frizy's Corner Bar is we buy a lot of citrus fruit. It's much cheaper to buy it at Trader Joe's in the big, large bags. And what I was finding is on weeks when we do uh, stirred cocktails, like liquor, liquor cocktails, and didn't use the citrus, the citrus was going bad rapidly. And, you know, we were keeping it out on the counter. And so this week I've been doing some research on different ways to uh, store citrus. So I actually uh, had a couple different methods that I, uh, I wanted to try out. So I thought I would start the experiment and uh, show you guys what I'm doing. And then in a month or so, we'll come back and we'll uh, try to see if uh, any, of the any of the methods are uh, better than others. So the first method that I am going to, sh uh, to try is you soak, the citrus in water and vinegar. So it's about, it is about, I think it's like seven parts water to one part vinegar. And you soak the citrus for 30 minutes. So this citrus has been soaking uh, for 30 minutes. I'm doing both a lemon and a lime because I um, I thought it would be interesting to, uh, to see which work, if, if there's a difference because most of what I looked up was how to do, um, do limes. So all the citrus has been washed. Uh, we use a vegetable wash. So it's all been washed and this has been soaking in the water for 30 minutes. So I am drying it off. And then, so you dry it off and I'm gonna remove this bowl of water because I no longer need it. And then you just place it in a Ziploc bag. So you'll need uh, Ziploc bags and you just place the citrus in the Ziploc bag. And then they, uh, the videos and stuff that I was watching says, you know, you try to, uh, you know, squeeze as much air out as possible. And I was having a hard time uh, getting all of the air to come out of the bag. So, I think if you watch regularly, you know I love my uh, glass straws and my, my little handy dandy tool. So I thought I would use this as a vacuum to suck out all the air so it almost looks like it's, it's vacuum sealed. So the videos say that this will store for up to a month in the refrigerator. So you want to store it in the refrigerator. Actually, I pay the one chose the bag with the wrong label. So I am just labeling this as the uh, the vinegar soaked citrus. And I have the date on here. So I'm gonna put this in our refrigerator downstairs and I am going to check it in a month. The other method that I experimented this week was um, was freezing the citrus. They say, you know, you can you can just put the citrus in a bag, freeze it, and then you can either defrost it in the microwave or defrost it out on the counter. Uh, we, I tried this this week. I really wasn't a fan because it, they do take a while to defrost. And whenever I want to, I want to, I'm always in a hurry. Even when I put it in the microwave, uh, they say for 30 seconds, it really, it was still kind of fro uh, frosty inside and the, the outer shell was kind of, um, um, you know, heat it up. So it wasn't a consistent thaw. They do say that these are, it's actually much easier to zest a frozen uh, uh, piece of fruit, but I think, I'm, and they say it's also easier to juice it. So if you're patient, which I'm not, um, this is a method if you're willing to let the, uh, the citrus sit out for a while to thaw, because they say that also juices better because it, releases the, um, it breaks down the, the cells so the juice comes out that faster, but I'm not a huge fan of the frozen method. So the next method that I uh, read about was very similar to the first method, but you don't, um, you don't soak the citrus in the, in the vinegar. 
which again, I always like things that are simple. So I'm curious to see how just placing it into your Ziploc bag and removing the air from the bag. will um if this method will keep it as well as the vinegar method because you know again it takes 30 30 minutes to soak it in the vinegar and uh not a fan of um that time then the next then the final method that i'm going to test is a method where you you're supposed to take newspaper which we don't have newspaper so i am using uh Cut up Trader Joe's bag, and you roll the you roll each individual piece of citrus in the paper, and then you just push down the edges. So you have your uh, your wrapped up piece of citrus, and again you you. Put, place it into a Ziploc bag. Some people, if you don't like using all of these Ziploc bags, you can also place them in um, in an airtight in, into a container with a lid, an airtight lid, and you know try to burp out as much air as you can. So I am wrapping the citrus, placing it into the bag. I might need that. And doing the same thing, I, I'm going to just remove the air from this bag like I did the other ones, even though the, this method didn't, didn't say that was necessary, but I'm going to try it. So here are, these are the three ways for preserving the whole fruit. Now, one of the things that I will say that I, um, I'm going to try, and a different frozen method is... If you take and slice wedges of your citrus, so this would be good for using in cooking or if you just want to use it in tea. So I have a morning tea that I like to have lemon in. So I am actually going to, to slice this up and store this in the freezer and see if I like freezing the cut up fruit over the other fruit. But this, you know, if you're cooking and you need, you know, a, a, you know, a squeeze of citrus or something, it's supposed to be pretty easy to go into the fridge and get it. You can also uh, freeze the, the fresh squeezed juice as well in ice cube trays, which the, again, that's not a method I'm gonna try because I, I like to squeeze it, strain it, and use it right away. So in a month, I'll be back and, we, and I will uh, give you guys the results of what I think of these uh, different experiments. So have a great Saturday. Um, it's not really that great out here. It was kind of snowing earlier, but, uh, but good morning. And I hope you find this interesting. And as always, like, follow, and share. All of our recipes and ideas and old videos are posted on uh, friesyscornerbar.com. And uh, thank you for joining. Bye-bye.